Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog! How the fuck are we doing today, guys? I'm doing sexy and awesome. Thanks for always, 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 always asking. Today, we are vlogging with a passion, with a fucking... Well, we're vlogging with something out of the ordinary. <laughs> ah, you know, watching my vlog sometime... Oh god, I think of that one TV show. Cow and Chicken! Yes! Oh my god, how many of you guys remember Cow and Fucking Chicken? Or Chicken and Cow? No, no, it's Cow and Chicken. Almost positive. It's with a cow that is, like, fucking stupid and shit, and then there's the chicken. There's this one character in the show, and, um, fuck. Totally, totally forgot the name. Well, actually, no, wait a second, it might be on Billy and Mandy. Ah, fuck it, it's... Anyways, it, all it was was a floating head. And sometimes watching my vlogs, I think that my head is just kind of floating and I don't really have any other part of my body. But yes, I'm a real human being. <laughs> ah, don't you listen to what anybody says on YouTube. It's, it's fucking folklore, goddammit. Alright, so anyways, right now uploading new video to my main channel. Um, basically made a new bank video. My first RuneScape 3 bank video of um, fucking sexiness and shit. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I haven't made a bank video for RuneScape, or uh, since RuneScape 3 has really came out and shit, and uh, I kind of really felt like making one. Not to mention, I'm basically going to be keeping a little drop log and shit. My fucking Asian buddy that's a uh, high-level uh, Dungeoneering level, I mean, not, not dun dun well, yes, he is a high-level dun Dunger also. He's a um, high-level Deviation is actually made over, like, 10 mil and shit. Um, they made like 12 or 13 mil and uh, shit like that from Deviation. So, Deviation is a money-making skill. I mean, it really fucking is. People are, are legitimately buying the, um, energy, not the energy, the, um, the little glowy little, so you guys know what I'm basically talking about. Mainly because the Grand Exchange has a cap on them. So, by that, people are pay paying a ridiculous amount of fucking money for them. Because uh, people want to buy them in mass quantities and shit like that. Um, however, basically, uh, at 73, probably only going to make maybe a couple mil. Maybe just maybe a few, maybe, I don't know, maybe make like five or six mil. Five or six mil is better than nothing. Um, however, getting 1,000, I mean... In, in actuality, for one hour of deviation at a low level like myself, I'm actually less than 10,000 EXP from uh, 56. Yes, 56. Probably going to get 56 tonight. Um, however, you're not going to make a lot of money in the lower levels. Where, in, in like level 85, uh, 90, fucking, even at 80. You make a lot of money if you actually stick to deviation and continue doing it. You actually make a good amount of money, maybe like a couple hundred K an hour. By skilling, that's really not that bad. And deviation doesn't make you lose money unless you choose to be a, a fart knocker and spend your money to buy the energy because you have so much money. All these motherfuckers on this game with an endless supply of money and shit, yeah, they're going to get deviation faster because they're pumping money into deviation to buy those things. Me personally, I, I, I couldn't imagine spending, but then again, if I had so much money on this game and nothing to do with it, yeah, maybe possibly, but still. I'm a cheap asshole. <laughs> so that video is going to be up uploaded to my main channel, and... Oh, yes! Saw an awesome movie tonight. It's called 976 Evil. Old, old movie was made in like, uh, I think, uh, 1988 or 1982 or some shit. It was pretty fucking old. And I just, enjoy, I mean, they don't make movies like they seriously used to. You know, it was a basic fucking concept of a movie. If you call a telephone line, it turns you into an evil asshole. <laughs> um, pretty fucking cool, but I mean, yeah, they seriously don't make movies like they used to. Alright, but today we're going to be talking about, oh yes, by the way... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually about to watch a very interesting fucking movie. Take a random guess what movie I'm going to be watching. Is it Lords of the G Lords of the G String? Fuck no. Is it Lord of the Rings? Fuck no. Is it Twilight? I'd rather blow my brains out. Is it fucking some other type of horrible movie? It is. Ah, <laughs> ah, thank 
thank you, fucking Walmart. It was on sale! Come on, you can't fucking beat a $2 DVD of fucking Frosty the Goddamn Snowman. <laughs> um, uh, anyways, it's um, fucking summer outside, but inside my fucking room, it is winter time. Anyways, alright, today we're going to be talking about the health of RuneScape players and something we really haven't touched based on ever, ever in the past five years of video making. The health of RuneScape players. Um... Basically was cruising the RuneScape forums and came across this one thread. Um, I fucking, I don't have the thread, I don't have that little quick note and shit. But um, basically the person made the thread saying who's responsible for the, for the health of RuneScape players. And basically the person went on saying Divination has only been out for about nearly, I'd say, fucking maybe five days. I, when, when did Divination come out? It, this, I, I can't. I'm so lost with time. It came out about a week ago, right? Yeah, about a goddamn week ago. So, in one week, there's people that are already level 90, 91, 92, which makes it possible to get 99 if you know life it. And I'm talking straight up fucking seriously just no life the living shit out of it. And um, maybe like uh, two and a half weeks, maybe sooner. P probably a two-week skill. However, if you choose to play the game for maybe, um, I'd say, four to maybe five hours a night, the skill is probably going to take you maybe possibly a month to maybe a month and a half. Now, there are people racing to 99 because they want to be the first ones, even though it doesn't matter, because you could be the first one to get 99. However, if you have more EXP, aha! So, in actuality, you have to be the first one to 200 mil. That's the catcher. So... It doesn't matter about being the first one to 99. Nobody gives a shit about that. Well, maybe people do. Uh, it's about who can get 200 mil EXP and who is going to be ranked as number one of number one. I remember when Dungeoneering came out so many years ago, that seems like yesterday. Um, fucking everyone was racing. I, I mean, it, it's, it, it, was, it was really, really fucking funny because nobody gave a shit about 99 Dungeoneering. <laughs> I, I mean... Nobody really gave two flying fucks about 99 Dungeons. Everyone cared about 120. They're like, ah, you got 99 Dungeoneering. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, touch my nipples. Ah. <laughs> you see, nobody really gives a shit about that. Um, everyone cared about 120. Everyone wanted the 120 Dungeoneering cape. So it was, re it was a real fucking race to 120 Dungeoneering. However, once people got to 120, they realized, said, fuck, we might as well get 200 milli XP. And I feel so bad. So fucking bad. Actually, I don't really feel bad at all. I just find it humorous that everyone got fucked over. I didn't get fucked over because I waited, <laughs> and I'm still not, and I'm still waiting because I know Jagex is going to do something else. Um, at first, there was only 35 floors in Dungeoneering. No fucking purple floors, which is the occults, and no warp floors. I rem I got 99 Dungeoneering <clears throat> when they added the warp, I I'm almost positive they added the warp floors. I I'm almost near fucking positive. However, I do remember doing a shit ton of fucking occult floors. I think that I got level... I, I, I went from 1 to 73 with the regular floors. I went 73 to 80 with the regular floors as well. Then I went from 80 to 85 using occults came out. Fucking sinuses! Ah, I need a fucking plunger for my fucking nose. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Somebody please come to my house and use a plunger on my nasal cavity. Anyways, then I went from like 85 to 99 using the occults and warped. Almost positive. Even though I could only do like two fucking warp floors and shit. Um, however, a lot of people got fucked over. But the health of the RuneScape players, let's see. 
who's really responsible? Your fucking self. There's been fucking, I mean, it's been on the news, supposedly, that, that a fucking kid died while playing RuneScape during, like, a double EXP weekend, when it was actually a double EXP weekend, because he died of exha exhaustion. Can you actually die from lack of sleep? Um, it's really, I mean, I don't really know. It's something you guys would really have to Google. However, can you die from fucking exhaustion? Yes, your heart can fucking die of the stress. Um, just like if you fucking dr went on a fucking drinking and binging purge for fucking like two weeks straight, you could fucking have a heart attack and die. It's a lot of strain on your fucking heart. Um, so, if you stayed up for three days straight and lived off monsters and lived off caffeine, you could probably most likely fucking, I mean, there, there's a very good chance you could fucking be really fucked up, die, or end up in the hospital. Um, who's responsible for the RuneScape players? Yourself. Everyone is responsible for their own fucking actions. It comes down to that. Um, that's really the only thing that I have to really say. I, I mean, every single human being is responsible for their own fucking actions. So, who is responsible for people racing to 99? Their fucking selves. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have fucking done nothing for the past week. It, like, absolutely, literally fucking nothing. Planted myself right in front of my PC and just, uh, and just deviation. And I probably most likely could be on the fucking leaderboard within the 100 if I chose to do that. However, I'm not fucking suicidal. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So that's what it really comes down to. Who's responsible for the RuneScape players? The RuneScape players are responsible for the RuneScape players. Pretty sure the majority of you guys will agree with me on this. However, people are manipulated into shit, but then again, they're just fucking low self-esteem and they have no willpower. If you are easily influenced into doing something, that really means you have no fucking self-esteem and willpower and you're fucking insecure. So that means you have to find yourself by punching yourself in the face and saying, no, I'm not going to do that. And take responsibility for your own fucking actions. That's basically what it comes down. All right, guys. But otherwise, like I basically said, uh, look out for my new RuneScaping video. Otherwise, I'm going to be watching Frosty the Snowman in Winter Winter Wonderland. <laughs> but otherwise, right now, I'll go to my email address. We have some happy hooba hooba questions from you motherfuckers. Ask not much out who to comment action to me who's because if you do, Frosty the Snowman will fucking melt and I will cry like a little girl. Uh, let's just leave it at that. Was gonna say something really naughty, but uh, it's, I can't be too naughty today. <laughs> uh, fire super hoover question. Dear Nightmare H, I have been a fan of your videos for many years. I was wondering what's a good place to train on RuneScape 3? I am combat level 137. Well, you're missing a 3 for elite, so you're not elite. Uh, with 68 attack, 62 strength. Uh, 68 attack, 62 defense, 70 strength. I have 30 mil and about to get DH. FYI, I have membership. Woohoo! RuneScape username, Turkey Based uh, 1. That's a lovely name, and I love Turkey. Uh, I love Turkey so much. Um, Alright. Fucking. Where's a good place to train? On my little Bungus account, I would train at the Orgers uh, and OGs. Uh, so it's like right past fucking Castle Wars and shit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, that's, that's where I would fucking train, um, or you could maybe, uh, it's, what's your combat level, 70? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't think you can get in the Warriors Guild just yet. Uh, yeah, you, actually, you could, probably. Damn it, I closed fucking the goddamn Yahoo tab. <laughs> um, if you can get in the war, blah, 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 my voice just cracked, I have puberty, 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 my, my boobies. Um, <laughs> um, if you can get inside the Warriors Guild, go in the Warriors Guild. Otherwise, go and train on Ogres. Otherwise, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty 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 much um, pretty much about it. I love you guys. Leave some nasty, dear little comments, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.